So it's yeah. just interesting when you look at the cascading effects on the other cases here yes. and how you're expecting that could actually force some obviously beyond the election and how it could force some out of the spotlight of, of just people registering what is going on because what we do know is that a lot of voters it doesn't it doesn't even register for them really what Trump is charged with or accused of doing in many of these trials not just this one it's very dizzying and confusing I think to many voters citizens whatever else and it's important to note that our elections happen on a timeline and litigation uh, prosecutions happen on a totally separate timeline and it can take sometimes years to bring to bring matters to trial what's notable here is that this was the prosecution that was probably the most likely to happen in the first place, if at all. Um, and so the mere fact of a delay is significant in that it pushes the inevitable trying of a matter of Donald Trump even further, if not beyond Election Day. But again, all the prosecutors have asked for here is 30 days, uh, and we'll see what the judge does with that. It's not an indefinite postponement of the trial. The judge hasn't even granted it yet, so we'll yeah. see what he does. Uh, Elliot, you know.